Hi there, my scrumptious little morsels. I am here today in sunny Burbank, California at Besame Cosmetics Boutique, and I am here to up my makeup game. If you know about the pinup community, you also probably already know about Besame Cosmetics. And this is my everyday makeup routine, but I wanna, I wanna make it more realistic, more vintage, so I am here to learn how. And she is going to be helping me and teaching me how to properly wear Besame cosmetics. It's gonna be so fun. Tell me more about Besame though. Absolutely. Uh, Besame has been at home in Magnolia Park for four and a half years. Uh, we love it here. It's such a beautiful vintage area. Um, our brand is historically accurate makeup. So that's what we do here at Besame. Um, everything is period, period accurate, if not period inspired. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so excited. And the store itself is just absolutely beautiful. So now that my face is off, uh, we are here to put it back on with Besame. Sure. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what your everyday makeup routine looks like? put on wet foundation. Okay. <laughs> and then I put... I'm not good with the terms. And then I put on it's trans... Like there we go. <laughs> Thank you. And then a translucent powder to set. Look, I know something. Mascara. Yes, that is what I do. Great. That's yes. Awesome. So I did lay out some products for you to uh, apply today. Wow. Um, and so I guess we'll just start at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, well, okay. You want to just tell you what I what I set out for you? Yes, please. <laughs> so we've got two different colors of cake mascara here: a dark okay. brown and a black. Um, that is probably it's become one of our most popular products. Um, you can use it as liner, mascara, and in your brow. Yes. And then I set out our cream blush, which is in the color crimson, which is really rosy. You said you've used that. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then um, for a light bronzer, I set out our sun kiss blush. And then I gave you three different colors of foundation sticks, uh, one for contouring and one for regular. Okay. Uh, and then a victory red lipstick. <laughs> yes, because I love that one. And a powder. And of course, all the fun brushes. So with a stick foundation, it's really, really easy to apply because you can kind of just draw it directly onto your face. Okay. Um, I know that that's a little bit, <laughs> especially since you said you use a liquid. Yeah. But yeah, you can definitely just draw in lines, almost like war paint. Okay. Wherever you feel like you need coverage or wherever you want coverage. Everywhere. Because <laughs> we're going to be blending it with that brush, so don't worry about making it look pretty coverage. Um, but it is buildable, which is really, really nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you feel like you have enough on, then you can kind of just go in and, and buff it through. I'm in awe. This is so nice and luxurious. I could do this every morning. <laughs> I say that it acts as a little bit of, you know, like a, like a calm down in the morning. You can just rub it on your face. It's like a little therapy session. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't feel like I think I'm going to. Me, because I'm so used to so much. Uh -huh. I think. You can always add more. That's the okay. about this product. You can put it in the first layer and say, okay, I definitely need more coverage here and here. And you can go back in without it looking really cakey, which is lovely. I feel like I'm painting. I had, um, I filmed somebody doing um, a pinup style evolution video and they were wearing this and it was, it just looks so smooth and it is so smooth. That was interesting, but. into all of her faces. So this is going to look a little bit dark. Okay. And a little bit scary, but it's definitely not. And it does look like this. Wow. It's it's pretty. I'm not too scared. I'm I don't I'm, I think okay. 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 
So what okay. do you do? Yes. Make a fish face. Perfect. And you're going to put the product right where you feel like the, the deepest set point of that is, right under your cheekbone. So just a teeny little bit right there. Just a dot or like a... Beautiful. Okay. Same on the other side. Those are a lot like that. See, look at that. Perfect. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Gorgeous. You contoured. You're done with all of your powder products. I mean, excuse me, your uh, cream products. You can set everything with powder. But with that same idea, we're going to want to do every single one of our cream products first. So, including blush. Okay. So, creams with creams, powders with powders is usually what I like to stick with. That makes perfect sense. So you don't get any strange blending or anything funky like that. So this is our Crimson Cream Rouge. This is super popular. You can use this on lips or cheeks. Dip in. Good. Okay. Oh, that's together. Yep. Beautiful. So that way you have one for each cheek. And a tap. And a tap. Just kind of to center it where you want it. So you can tap it. I've seen these in vintage tutorials. Exactly. It's the exact same. Wow. I mean, with healthier ingredients. <laughs> yes. That's beautiful. One with this brush. Okay. And tap. <laughs> but this is a nice way to kind of um, just enhance that contour that we did a little bit more. Okay. Just add some warmth to the face. Just a teeny bit. Um, so we'll move on to our powder brush. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh. These are based off of um, brushes that Max Factor designed in the 1930s. <laughs> They're so beautiful. The entire line is cruelty free. Gabriella loves to stress that everything is cruelty free down to our packaging. Every hair on these brushes is synthetic. Okay, so these are our brand new foundation powders and this is what we're gonna be setting your makeup with today. So what you're gonna wanna do is go in with that powder brush and do like a little swirl. It's gonna be really, really easy. Okay, this powder also has a little bit of coverage. So if you feel like you just want a little bit of extra sometimes. And it's just a nice face massage too. <laughs> From there, I'm gonna dip you into this, um, it's technically a blush, but we love it as a bronzer. It's called Sunkiss, it's kind of a peachy bronzy shade. So I'm just gonna sweep around the high points of the face. So wherever the sun would naturally hit you, hence the name, Sunkiss. So like that, mm -hmm. and then tap. Yep. Perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you went up, up top. Yep. I'm going to look in the mirror. Okay, okay. okay. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Okay. Okay, and then it comes down around the cheekbones. And then, and then... A little bit on the eyes. Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. A lot of these products are multi-use, so you can use this for eyeshadow, bronzer, blush, all over warmth like we're doing it right now. So, before we go into a little bit of the eyes... Um, since we did put creams on your eyelids, okay. uh, the foundation, okay. I just like to go in and make sure it's all very, very matte and set with powder. So just go okay. over the whole eyelid with the foundation powder. This is nice too since we are going to be putting a little bit of that sun-kissed uh, blush, a little more of it on your lids as a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, just to make sure you don't have any cream products still left on your eyes so it'll blend seamlessly. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put just a couple of drops at a time of just plain water onto the cake itself. Okay. So you can dip into the water and just drop a couple of drops, maybe two or three onto the cake. And you're just gonna wanna mix, mix, mix until you see it kind of form a paste. So when it starts to get to a consistency that looks like a liner, um, you're ready to go. A lot of the times if I'm unsure about what it's looking like, I'll take some off the top of my hands. What I do is just extend the line into a little bit of a longer line to start my okay. cat eye. So I'm just going to okay. go exactly right above that line and draw one straight line flicking upward to connect it. So I'm looking down yep. and then I'm going to draw a line out yep, and just from that line you already created out and up. I'm happy because I did it. <laughs> They're really cousins now, but it's okay. 
Okay, so our lipsticks, like we mentioned earlier, are extremely creamy and extremely pigmented. We use about 40% pigmentation in our lipsticks, whereas you're looking at some other companies that use 10 to 15%. Wow. Um, so they're extremely pigmented. Very different um, consistency than a lot of lipsticks on the market these days. So they're not going to be like a liquid lip or a super matte lip. We call them semi-matte, so they're going to wear a long time but still be very comfortable on your lips. Um, we do recommend that the best way to apply these lipsticks is with a brush, um, just because of their consistency. Hmm. You get a little more control and a longer wear out of a brush application. Okay. Is this um, the point where you, like, where I, what I, I would, like, try to, like, shape it? Is the, okay. Um, normally, this is just to kind of slap that initial okay. down. Okay. Good. Okay. So, we just need to grab a tissue. Okay. Tissue. Yeah. This is going to seem counterintuitive because normally when you blot, when you're blotting the lipstick, it's to take down the color. This is more to set the lipstick in. So, right now, we're just going to set that layer. So, go ahead and just do a hard blot. It's not really going to remove any of the pigment. It's just to kind of set it in. From there, you're going to go in with the actual bullet this time and just do a full lipstick application wherever you get your lipstick. Okay. Edges of the lipsticks are really, really nice to kind of like. Oh, thank you. Flip it around, of course. Wait, to like, like that? Or like what? Like one of the sides? I usually like to take a corner. Okay. Kind of go right around the line here. And then I like to flip it and throw it back in that way. Hey. Beautiful. Wow. I feel so classic. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, so that's a full face of Brazilian cosmetics. Wow. Does it look sort of like what you're used to? Yes, but it but it it feels really nice. Oh, like it feels like my skin is breathing, which is something that the other makeup that I wear doesn't feel like. It feels very light, and it, like I like it just feels like it's breathing. Like I can't explain it any other way. That's so, wonderful. wow. And I, all that stuff is pretty attainable. I think you could easily recreate this at home. I think I could too. Thank you so oh much. You are so well. Like I was saying, I was saying in the chair just a second ago, it just feels incredibly light on my face, and I'm not used to that. It just feels so breathable, but I also have that confidence of that full coverage, and that's what I look for. So this is just absolutely incredible, and I'm not going to start crying. I'm not going to do it. But thank you so, so much, You're really. So I want to I want to make sure that other people can come do this too. So I know that you offer events. What kind of events do you? Sorry, Snow. <laughs> what kind of events do you offer? Sure, we offer uh, group classes. Okay. And we also offer individual services. Okay. So we offer individual services as far as a makeup appointment goes. Uh, they're an hour long. We usually book for an hour. Um, it's forty five dollars to come and get your makeup done, nice. and we can do a period look or a modern look. So whatever you'd like, we can do. Nice. Um, and then we do do a smaller service, kind of like a tutorial, like we did with you today. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's going to be about a half an hour long. So whatever you'd like to do, we can always work with you. If you want to come in and just learn about one product, we can easily do that. Um, and then we do group classes. Uh, we do one big uh, decades of beauty class per month. It's usually about 25 people in our class. Wow. <laughs> so it gets a little bit crowded. Um, but that's going to be all about a specific decade of makeup. So uh, next month is going to be 1930s. Cool. So we offer some history beforehand, and then we offer a period accurate makeup demonstration. That is amazing. Yeah. So everybody can do this. Yes. Everybody, you can do this at home. You can do this here. Well, the events, you have to do the events here. But like, this makeup is something you can do. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> like seriously, if I can do it, you, you, you're fine. You're great. So you yes. <laughs> well, thanks. So thank you so much. Thank you so so thank much. I'm gonna hug you again. Oh my gosh, it's been amazing. Oh, I'm not gonna touch my face. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So go ahead and check out the links down below. Make sure that you come to Besame, the boutique in Burbank, when you're around. And don't forget, guys, to stay scrumptious. This experience was absolutely incredible. And if you're in the area and you can make one of the events that Daniela talked about or even the tutorial where she teaches you or another amazing best made person teaches you how to do it, I definitely say you should jump at the chance. So I want to help you up your pinup game. If you enter into my contest you, and use the hashtags up my pinup and tag Besame, you'll be entered in to receive this amazing bag of Besame goodies. I can't wait to see all of your amazing looks that you create. Don't forget, guys, to stay scrumptious, and I'll see you later.